Yeah, I love that. What's up, brothers and sisters, soldiers and soldierettes? Y'all already know if you listen to my channel, I love music. And uh, of course, I'm going to love my African heritage music. You know, we alive and breathing. We are back to conquer another day. Don't worry about what happened yesterday or a few days ago or last year or sometime in the past. F that. Keep forging forward because when we think good, strong thoughts in the present, man, it will bring a strong future. You know, anticipation is a wonderful thing when you use it the right way, a positive way. And let's get to those honors, shall we? I honor thy ancestors, those who fought hard, the righteous ancestors, soldiers and soldierettes. Salute and honor those that fought to get a lot of us in the state that we're in, whether it's in our families, brothers and sisters in our circle, our children, significant other, especially those who mean well on this walk, because great things always come to those who mean well from the pit of the soul and not none of that fake manipulation shit. You know, we in some crazy times. We have no time for games. And y'all, and as if you listen to my channel, you know I despise that word game. And let's get that out of our psyche because we have fun. We enjoy ourselves. We're not serious all the time. But as we all know, sometimes life is not a game. So welcome to another edition of EBX discussion and i thank those that have been riding along with the brother you know i gotta say it we are leaders and teachers we are not followers remember that with a student spirit we get rid of that narrative because when you in a real righteous realm that's what you'll be connected to brother or sister in our families children will be connected to the right brothers and sisters but that don't mean we forget about those who struggle because you do, you do have those that are maybe struggling physically, spiritually, mentally, as we say, you know, because those are three important things, especially these days with this social media and all these frequencies coming at us, which I'm going to get into. But, you know, we place protection and, and a caring spirit over those that are struggling, but the ones that do want to be helped. Now, those that don't, a great divine would deal with you because that great divine deals with all of us. Remember that. So... And may all of our families prosper and everything we touch turn to gold. And I mean that, you know, and do whatever we can to get to a success state in one's mind, brother or sister. Because it's a beautiful thing when we finally get there. But sometimes it's not easy. Not, excuse me, not easy. Different strokes for different folks. But everybody comes to that truth, whatever different kind of truth that is. But everybody comes to it. And we have to deal with it, you know, that goes for me, anybody. But once we do and just be as honest with ourselves as we possibly can, you know, we'll come through shining every time through the mistakes and challenges of our lives, you know, trying to be the rightest brother and sister we can possibly be, young or old. And I'm here to say that's what brings me to nothing can break what the great divine makes. And speak against negativity fiercely, you know, strong. Don't never back down from no negativity, any kind of negativity, whether it's subtle, aggressive. Because remember, you know, these, especially these days with just frequencies, and I really do believe there's a lot of, unfortunately, negative frequencies that come from this social media and these phones and all this stuff, even when we're not on it. And I truly do feel this you know because i've experienced different things as well as other uh brothers and sisters that's reaching and teaching out there salute or anyone that's seeking that real truth within and you know and not just going with the flock and really want want knowledge and what really want to grow and pays attention to our circle but not in a paranoid way to learn because in order to to provide or create a positive space you know of course we have to be connected to other individuals that's had that same mindset you know it's not about you know think we're better than somebody you know at the end of the day most of us just want peace love and just want to live a, 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 the greatest life we can possibly possibly live you know you know that the intelligence and the knowledge and the gifts and all the other great things that it, it, that's great too but at the pit of everything, we just want to live a stable, successful life. And that's mind, body, and soul. You know, some, most, I will say one to a hundred, maybe 
it's kind of low. I say 50% of us are righteous and real to the pit of the soul. That's just my own, my own little, little analogy, my own statistic. You know, it's probably off, but I would say 50%. And it's probably lower than that, you know, because this social media, woo, powerful. And, it, and it's not just social media. I always try to go above, you know, because a lot of things that's happening in the world stems from social media because... My, you know, I got my uncle sends me clips of things that's happening. Man, some things just hair. You know, some things can be funny, but then you got other things that are horrible, man. You know, you got uh, people out there that's going through, man, going through something that they think they'll never get out of. That's really struggling out there. And, you know, we got to keep things like that in our mind. Keeps us mindful and, and humble in situations. You know, there are those out there that's struggling, you know. So that's why we can't get caught up in the glitz and the glamour and, and, you know, stay true to oneself, pay attention to our family, contact our family, talk to them when we can, you know, check on each other, make sure we're doing all right, because we got to check on a great divine's children. You know, nothing can break what the great divine makes. So when you got that true divine spirit, brother or sister within, that great divine will talk to you all the time. And you'll hear that. You won't have to be wondering, well, what is that? No, you be in line with it. You'll know what it is, you know. And that opens up that pineal gland. You know, you won't think things are weird, think things are crazy. Just pay attention to one's life and our surroundings. Again, not to be paranoid, just to learn and know things that's going on. Knowing human nature and, and seeking knowledge and learning new things that you never knew before and stepping new bounds and new adventures in our lives. And, you know, not, not closed in, take solitude sometimes, you know, just to keep ourselves stable, but not closed off to the world. You know, we do have to explore because there's a big ass world out there. You know, that's why you see me doing podcasts like this one up in the sky or in nature or out in, out in space. You almost always see me do podcasts like that because it keeps us from being, we stabilize ourselves on the ground, but we don't stay grounded. You know, we had to have to, Go above and beyond this thing, as I heard so many brothers and sisters say, you know, and peek up, peek above the clouds, go up in, you know, that's what the divine ain't the, the great divine, a higher supreme being. The real God isn't low. It is that that higher force is high. So that's what we got to be. So that's why I do this podcast like this one right here when I'm up in the sky, you know, because I want to be above. All the riff raff and the rat racing and the and the clout chasing and the who's better and who's not when we're all unique, you know. Especially these that a lot of those that I'm connected to, you know, I can say that because, you know, I'm not chasing nothing toxic. I'm not looking for to get nothing, not to tear nobody down, you know, whether in my family or brothers and sisters in the world, brothers and sisters I meet online, uh meet online, whether they're they big status or low status. I see everybody as unique. Everybody has their own unique gifts, especially if they're in tune with themselves and they're, they're not, you know, giving in to the some of the distractions of social media in this world and, and the, the celebrity gossip and all that stuff. We got it's a it's a difference between giving information about a celebrity and celebrity gossip. You have to be, you know, you have to be keep your mind in a state where it's learning and, and growing because it does it does wonders for the body that's why we do it not to be this you know this ultimate saint it's good for the body that's I, I have to put emphasis on that i say that on every podcast every video even in my music how positivity works wonders for the body now it don't cure everything but it helps like i say the body follows the mind so if you can keep your mind as stable as possible, which is can is not easy sometimes, but you take the measures, take the steps, you know, it, it, small steps work too. any, any step toward progress in oneself, you know, mind, body, and soul it's progress, you know, um, the great, like I say, the great, we're on great divine time, you know, that time will come. It just depends on the individual we are. Cause I've said so many times that great divine deals with different individuals different ways it depends on how we are you know so we just got to know that and know that and, and like I, I say so many times study the law of attraction if you had things that happened to you that maybe you couldn't explain and just come out remember that'll happen time and time again it's not going to stop happening because nothing can break what the great divine makes you know nothing 
I don't care how much money those say they got or how powerful one thinks we are, and that's me or anybody. Nobody's above that higher supreme being. I don't give a damn who they are or who we are. You know, that goes for me too. You know, that higher God, that real God, that's who has to say at the end of the day, no matter how much knowledge we have, how good we sound, how great our gifts are, you know, how many people we touch, which is good, it's great because great divine loves, positive energy, but it wants it out of love. That's that force once that's what's in buried deep in that gut. It doesn't want no negativity. That's why we have to speak against it, you know, and, and don't be weirded out about it. Google it if you have to. You have a dream. Google it. If you have to. If it's a scary, Google it anyway, just to know, you know, because there is a negative force out there. It's no joke. You know, this energy thing, it's not a joke, as I said so many times. So but when you like I say, when you're engulfed in positive in, in, in righteous positive energy you know you it's some things that you'll dodge as i always say you dodge a lot of bullets when you're just looking to do right man just doing right you know just because it's the right thing to do it's the most beautiful thing it's the beautiful beautiful gift great divine gives a lot of us that are reaching and teaching out here we give because just because we can you know and to see to see that spark in another brother or sister young or old and in our families, you know, those in our circle. That's what that's what we do all this for. You know, at the end of the day, those who are real, enlightened to the pit of the soul. That's what we do this for. And I salute anyone that's not afraid to speak their mind, you know, speak their truth. You know, some, when, when we get that ultimate truth within us, we can't help but speak it. You know, it's just we don't know nothing else but the truth. Once you meet it, those that that take it and run with it. Take the bulls by the horn. Because it's a lot of us bulls out here. And we, we taking this truth by the horn. We can't help it. It's in our soul, you know. Been through too much to get to where we are. You know, to cock it, to cock it all up. You know, got to stay with it. Do the challenging times, sad times, happy times. Because it won't always be serious or down times, you know. But like I say, when you got that balance, you'll be able to do all things, you know, under that great divine for that great divine with our brothers and sisters and not against one another. And when we come into a, a speed bump or, or a hurdle, you know, let's analyze that too. Cause I know sometimes we're going to come into toxic situations, but analyze everything, you know, figure things out. You know, even if you do have to kind of stay away from something toxic, still figure it out and see why that person place or thing might be toxic. Where did it come from? Why are that way? Why are they? that way do they truly know themselves even those that do say they are awake this for me too you know do do are they really awake you know we have to ask ourselves these questions you know i question myself all the time you know you know we have to question ourselves and talk to ourselves because that's the biggest debate that we have to have is with ourselves you know before we debate with another you know, debate with our own selves. You know, are we right within? You know, do we mean well? What do we really, you know, those of us that are on this spiritual walk, why are we doing this? You know, are we doing this for that great divine or are we doing it for clout? No, I'm just, this is just hypothetic, not like I'm saying people are doing this. I'm just, just an example. You know, just these are things that I ask myself, you know, so we got to go to that. We got to be serious with this force, you know, because things will try to sneak in to our psyche. And, um, that's how I came up with this title, though. You know, nothing can break what that great divine makes and deflect all negative energy at all costs, small or big. Now, I'm saying that to say. Now, my significant other, my queen, I call her Cocoa Butter. She had a she had a dream. And stuff like this need to be talked about because I think it's serious. You know, the energy we have inside and energy we around, you know. So she said she had a dream. And it was one of those disturbing dreams. And and I can tell when she woke up because it really it changed her whole demeanor. Her whole personality was different, you know. And this that's why I, I said, you know, a part of this title, uh, speak against negativity. Now, in the dream that she had, I guess she seen me in the dream made it made it look like I was this bad person in her dream. But. And, you know, and I told her you have to, she didn't, and she didn't want to go into death in it on it because she was scared too. I said, no, you have to, you have to figure the dream out because a lot of times dreams are not what we see a lot of times. There's a, a, a deeper meaning, you know, 
But she's like, no, no, I don't want to. I know you're not like that. You would never cheat on me. And, and, you know, and I've never cheated on her, you know, ever. And through our mixed in challenges and maybe it, it sometimes maybe I felt like I, you know, I should have, but never have. Because as I just said a few minutes ago, we do things because they are the right things to right, right, right to do it because it's the right thing to do. You know, like I've told her, I, I stay loyal for oneself that great divine because i study karma i know the outcome of not being loyal you know we have a child together you know we got to go through that thick to get to that thin. You know, i made that video you know i might matter of fact i put that in the in the uh end screen you know so, you know so we know when we're in line with that great divine but sometimes we we'll, that great divine will put us in p positions that we don't understand sometimes you know but it but it'll be something pulling on us to stay in that situation, you know, and but it, it's hard to to understand that and really see it. You have to go through that thing, and then that great divine will take you through that thing. So, you know, and she told me about the dream, and I wasn't taken back by it or anything, cause you know, when you're not doing nothing, when you're being honest, you don't have to worry about. It. Cause see, when you're trying to be the best of yourself, and this brother or sister, you know, uh, young or old, when when you're just being honest and you're not uh, indulging in toxic things, and you just you know, you just working if you got a job or whatever. And, you know, you're just trying to live your life and do right and, you know, take care of your children and, you know, keep in contact with your family. You know, just trying to be a normal human being and you're not wrapped up in no toxicity. You don't, you're not cut off by things because you, you're not doing anything. So when she told me about the dream, I wasn't caught off. I wasn't caught off because I know I'm not doing anything. So, but I, I, I kind of study dreams. So I understand. So I don't, you know, I don't get, because I've had weird dreams about her, you know. But I wasn't taken back by it because I go deeper into the dream to see what it means. So, so I told her to speak against, you know, because you know sometimes, you know, not every woman, but some woman has. Uh, I've heard even comedians joke about how their woman woke up mad because they had a dream that they were cheating on them. You know, that's that's common. That's not really nothing. That's not normal. You know, it's, it's normal to have little weird dreams, especially when you've been with a partner. You know for uh, you know male or female for a long time you know so now I, I told her speak against that you know see where it's coming from why she's getting that thought and I told her we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna rebuke those thoughts those frequent those thoughts that's coming because that's something I noticed in this life brothers and sisters when you have a couple you know male or female whether you married relationship and you've been together for a long time those negative entities which in, evil entities will try to get in there even in the dream the thoughts and i'm talking about couples that's been together loyal never cheated on one another i'm talking about like that if nothing y'all never did nothing to each other you know through the mix of the challenges and all that stuff and ups and downs and you know because everything not always gonna be sunshine but but you never cheated on each other and i'm talking about this kind of couple and things like that come in that's when you know it's a negative it's an evil force and that's what that was and I told her, we're going to rebuke that. You know, we're not going to let that get us arguing, you know, over a dream, you know, because I know I'm not doing nothing. She's not doing nothing. No, we're going to analyze it and break it down and keep it moving and learn from that process and know that evil things will try to enter when you at your best. And I know a lot of us can relate to that. When you at your highest peak in your life and everything's going right, of course, negative things are going to try to come. And that's person place or thing even in our dream if we're not doing nothing now so that i just that's why i say what nothing can break what the great divine makes you know and speak against negative entities negative forces toxic things that try to come against us don't let it trigger us unless it need to be spoke about or it's a threat to our life but if it's on the outside of us and if it's just some ignorant just a trigger triggering mechanism to get you off your square Pay it no fucking mind and stay on this course because a great divine has something much better for those in this life that's just trying to do right. And even and not even just those that are spiritually connected. I mean, those are just trying to be right. Great divine right watches over them, too, and will bring them. That's why those that are doing good in their lives, nothing against those who are struggling now, because I always acknowledge that I know that they that there are those that are struggling out there. So I do acknowledge that. Like I said, I bring that I bring that, that great protection from that great divine in their lives, that they find that way, and whatever that is in their life, mentally, physically, 
conspiracy. So, but, you know, you have those that are, you know, and have have survived this here, this here so-called matrix we in and, and still surviving and fighting and on the outside of it, you know. Just just doing right from the gut, the great divine will pull you through, whether you spiritually connected or not. But you got to be right in your heart, though, because what have I said so many times? The higher supreme being, Mother Nature, universe, loves positive energy. That's why those that do have it together, mind, body, and soul, that's why when you look at their life, it shines, you know. And if you haven't dealt with oneself, if I said so many times, you know, within, you know, things are going to trigger you if you don't have an understanding about things you know and get out of our own comfort you know sometimes we gotta sometimes we do need to listen to teachings from brothers and sisters that kind of make us feel easy you want to because you want a teaching to shake you up you know you want it to shake you up a little bit rattle that stuff up in there you know everything can always sound nice and pleasant because honesty they say honesty is the best policy honest honesty is the man it's, it's, it's the great, it's like gold, real talk, you know. And it's not easy sometimes, but it, but you have to, you know. Even through our mystic, because a lot of times, those that are righteous within, brother or sister, if we do make a mistake, it's an honest mistake. You know, we don't, it won't be too many toxic things when you're not in gold, in, indulging in it, you know. And it's beautiful when you are telling the truth. Man, because when you're lying, when you're, when you're a liar and you lie a lot, you're on edge, you build anxiety, and it's just so many, you just open to so many things when you're living a lie. I mean, real talk, I'm, I'm, I mean this from the pit of the soul. Just, man, you're just inviting all kind of demons and devils. Woo, oh my God. When you're living a life in a swirl, I'm talking about when you just lying just every day, just lying for no reason. You know, just, you lie, first you're lying to yourself. You're lying there, woo, my God. You're talking about a whirlwind of, of, of anxiety and stress and man the devil just who i like this one they like to lie a lot Woo, the devil will have a ball with your ass so i'm telling you like i say let's take a look around at those who don't care about and i'm talking about those who are healthy and know better you know let's take a look at the people's lives that just man social media is all they know you know they can't live without it probably would go crazy if it didn't have social media but it's a lot of us that are on social media we would be okay. You know, we would kind of miss it because we love reaching and teaching to our brothers and sisters that engage and listen to us. Yeah, we would miss that, but we would be all right because when you study this system and this social media, when you have studied over time different things that's happened, especially brothers and sisters from the 60s on up to now, you know, in the 70s, we've seen things transform. So we kind of prepared for things to come. See, when you're in that righteous realm, you can see things, but if you engulfed in intention and clout chasing and you couldn't live without your phone and you gotta have it and all that, when this shit is taken away, you're gonna be fucked up. But nothing can break those that the great divine has made. You know, and that's those that have studied this over time. So we would miss it, but it wouldn't bother us as much because we just go to the web to the next level. Because that great divine always have something don't matter what level we go in in this life great divine is always 10 steps ahead of all this shit so remember that brothers and sisters that's maybe in the beginning or in a battle in your life keep that divine in there great divine will pull you through even through the things you think might not be impossible because being toxic and evil what the hell is that gonna do it's not gonna help the situation right so your mind as well be as righteous as we possibly can positive energy is no joke so Keep speaking against neg negative energies that are around us, negative anything toxic that's not good for our mind, body, and soul. Speak against that shit. Don't let it consume us. Don't let it take, this, take us over because there's a lot of things coming at us at a lot of angles. You know, I said so many times, we got to protect ourselves at all costs, at every angle with that righteous, divine spirit. And be careful because there are entities that can have spirits also. So, you know, we're we going to take this thing to a whole nother level. We're going to take it to 100. You know, we're going to reach that 100 by any means because we all have that divine abilities. We all have it. Brothers and sisters, the righteous ones, the soldiers, soldieress, salute that's young or old or in our families. Remember that. So speak against any negative 
forces by any means speak that protection over our families for ourselves from ourselves so we don't ever become our own worst enemy and once we can get fight that enemy within and and, and be gone guess what we can fight that enemy on the outside because that's what we really need to be looking at right my righteous brothers and sisters out there salute so that was just a little something as i always say i wanted to speak on that was in one divine spirit so keep striving don't get distracted make that vow like i did make that vow like i did to my great to our great divine that we would never ever be distracted stay on point understand each other the best way we can and that's in the world or online and keep on pushing forward keep forging forward and doing what we always been doing and remember nothing can ever ever break what the great divine makes and i'll say one more time speak against anything negative especially if you're living in a righteous space and you know you ain't doing nothing wrong and things coming at you for no reason speak against it i don't care you, you speak that great energy into existence damn negative energy you know damn that evil forces they have they have no place in our lives those that are are vibing high and want those in our circle to do the same because that's what it's all about can't break us can't break what you didn't make you know you didn't you know that forces didn't make us that are a great divine great div that great divine made nothing can break us you know can't be broken you know didn't then gain too much power now we're too powerful now no such thing as broken and in a great divine brother or sister's life. And I mean this, young, old, and in our families. So that was my thought. Nothing can break what a great divine makes. So I give honor to those who've been listening. Thank you, those who've been riding along, whether you interact, inter whether you interact or not, as long as you got something out of what I say and teach it to someone else. You know, current subscribers, new subscribers, salute, great divine has a plan for us my regions and teachers keep doing what you've been doing great divine has some great things for you you'll see in the future to come i don't you don't have to listen to me great divine will show you because i have learned from some and i honor my family i honor your family i honor my children their mothers brothers and sisters all over the world may you please keep that ultimate peace in your part of the world wherever you are right now. Salute!